Hi my dear children a very happy morning to all of you SBI UA senior secondary school class 4 subject english session 2 today's moral value there is no use blaming our luck we must stay strong and calm take help from others if needed title of the story sinbad tells his story children the previous video class we learned how sinbad lost his fortune and why he became a sailor children in today's video class let's learn how sinbad saved himself and became a rich man children are you ready yeah let's move on to part 2 after several hours of being tossed about by the waves i passed out when i came to i realized that i had been swept to the sandy shores of some unknown island sinbad was thrown by the waves up and down he passed out he became unconscious when i came to when sinbad became conscious he realized that he had been swept to the sandy shores of some unknown island though i was very tired i started looking around i found some herbs and fruits and ate them hungrily walking about i saw some men on horseback i told them my story they said that i was in the kingdom of my age we will take you to our king they said though sinbad was very tired he started looking around he found some herbs and fruits as he was very hungry he ate them quickly after having eaten he was walking around the place Sinbad saw some men riding horses. He told them the story what happened to him. The horse riders told him that Sinbad was in the kingdom of Maidaj and they said that they would take him to their king. The king of Maidaj met me. He was a good man. When I told him my story, he said that Maidaj was a very busy port. so it would be easy for me to find my way back home i was happy to hear this sinbad was taken to the kingdom of maidaj the king actually met sinbad the king was a very good man when sinbad told his story to the king the king said that maidaj is actually was very busy port at once he heard this from the king sinbad was very happy to hear that because it would be easy for sinbad to find his way back home i went to the harbor the place was bustling with activity people were busy loading and unloading ships a lot of money was being exchanged this reminded me everything i had lost sinbad went to the harbor the place was bustling bustling means very busy so the place was very busy with activity people actually were busy loading and unloading ships a lot of money was being exchanged it was seen by sinbad and that reminded him of everything that he had lost i wandered about through the harbor when something familiar caught my eye on looking closely i found that there were boxes of goods with my name on them this meant that my ship was here and i could go back home sinbad went to the port when he roamed around through the harbor something attracted him so he looked closely and he found that there were boxes of goods with his name on them so he was very happy and felt that he could go back his home i started looking for members of the crew standing right there barking out instructions was my captain I ran towards him and hugged him. The man jumped as though he had seen a ghost. As Sinbad found his boxes there, he started looking for members of the crew. His captain was standing and giving instruction to the crew. So Sinbad ran towards him and hugged him. But the captain jumped as though he had seen a ghost because the crew including the captain they thought that Sinbad would have died in the incident on the sea. Sinbad told his captain what happened to him. So, 
his captain was so happy that sinbad was alive and all his mates and sinbad had all his goods back with him he started his trade i sold all my goods for a large profit i kept the most valuable silks i had and presented them to the king of marriage sinbad sold all his goods for a large profit but he kept the most valuable silks which he had and he presented them to the king of marriage as the king helped him when he met him in return the king gave sinbad a bag of gems so sinbad became richer they sailed back home and sinbad started life again with his new found riches sinbad stopped narrating the story to hinbad and he promised to him that he would tell him about the dangers he faced in his next voyage the story comes to an end children i hope you have understood the story very well children you all of you read the story at least two times then you can understand still better okay thank you all take care bye bye